Hello everyone, this is uh, David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to introduce to you um, one of our best seller uh, tailoring scissors that we have been uh, selling this for almost two years and we have a lot of good uh, feedbacks on them and uh, uh, we sell them both on our retail stores here in LA and online and uh, uh, we're going to uh, show you how it is, how it's done, what we have to look into for buying a scissor and the different type and different size. So as you know, there are many scissors out there. You could find scissors at 99 cent stores too and a lot of people think they're the same. No, they're not the same. You have plastic handles, you have uh, uh, school uh, scissors, you have your kids scissors, but what are we uh, concentrating on today is tailoring scissors for um, for uh, uh, people that are professional tailors, um, designers, pattern makers, bag makers. This is the scissors that we want them to have to have a a better uh, um, uh, uh, sewing experience or cutting experience. Okay, so here we have. Uh, two different sizes, the most common size of uh, tailoring scissors are size 10 and size 12. And uh, it's all preferences, why 10 or 12. Um, mostly ladies like 10 because it's lighter and a lot of guys out there like 12 because it's heavier and it's just uh, guys like it bigger. So. Uh, um, these are the two different sizes that are most common when it comes to the uh, tailoring scissors. Uh, these are Teflon coated, non-stick. They're very popular these days. Again, these are fully metal. We're not talking about plastic handles. Gold Star has many different type of scissors out there on our website. And but these are the tailoring scissors, the metal one, the heavy one that we are working on today. So th these are Teflon coated and they're non stick, uh, meaning that uh, if you go cut through a fabric that has a glue on, the glue will not have an effect on this. So this is size 10 and 12 on non stick, and these are the same thing with the regular uh, metal all steel metal. So 10 and 12, Teflon coated, non-stick, and these are regular uh, ones. What do we have to look into when we're buying a scissor and how we're gonna do it? Okay, so uh, when it comes to scissors, you gotta make sure you're comfortable with it. You gotta see that your hand up here, the thumb is comfortable, your four fingers are comfortable, and you gotta make sure it's bent when it comes. The scissor must be bent for those people that use this for professional work or use it on a cutting table. Let's say this is our cutting table. And I, what I mean by bent, you see this is bent right here, meaning when you're going like this, cutting, your hand will not hit the table because it's bent. This is the way it's made, bent. That's how it should be bent. Now, let me show you what I mean I have. I happen to have an straight one right here, and I'm gonna show you what is an straight one. This is an straight one. These are bent. This is my office uh, scissors that I do that, use on my desk. So you gotta make sure it's bent, okay? And you gotta make sure you're comfortable with it. How you try your scissors. A lot of people go go ahead and try here. You don't want to try here. By the way, this is uh, four layers of heavy duty denim. You want to try your scissor with the end right here, you see? And you want to pull. You want to cut and you want to pull. You want to make sure when you're cutting, it's done. It's not pulling. There is nothing left. See, I'm cutting, pulling. Cut, pull. This is for the 12 inch one. Same thing with the 10 inch. Very easy, you gotta be, when you're cutting, this should not hit the table. 
and then try the edges like you see that's how it's done same thing with this one these are fully metal ones they're not teflon coated you go ahead and cut the edge you see cut and pull you cut and you pull make sure it's not leaving anything out there see i'm cutting and pulling so make sure there are you're comfortable with them because you're gonna be working with them all day long make sure nobody borrows them from you put your name down here a lot of people i'm not trying to be mean but when it comes to tools you want to make sure you take care of your tools make sure you have a carrying case our scissors have a uh, i would say nice carrying case and they have a cover-up you could just cover it and put it back in here you could close it down to storage it and or if you don't want you could just have it like this never leave your scissors on the table because they might fall down uh, these are the most common thing that you know that you have to know about scissors comfortable they're not heavy and they're sharp and these are the newest style in the market all black teflon coated black ones we have them all on our website and uh, they're very decent price we also have them what we added what we have been trying to do on our website is not only to have a great price we're also having a bulk pricing meaning if you buy six or a dozen or 40 or 50 most of our items now having a a uh, bulk pricing uh, and if you find something online that you think you need to buy more of to get a breakdown and you don't see that bulk pricing please call us here at goldstartool.com and we'll go ahead and accommodate you with that so the best leader i have also a carrying um, a tool for them so you could just hang it on your uh, belt right here uh, make sure that you could do something like this with your scissor four layers is now if you want to do eight layers i'm cutting like butter make sure they're oiled make sure they're uh easy that no water and um, again perfect scissors for a, uh, a perfect professional person thank you for watching please let us know what you think like our video share our video and leave your comment down below thank you so much for watching visit our website goldstartool.com